Hi, this is Helena Hart, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing seven magnetic feminine attitudes or mindsets that make you irresistible to the right man for you. And these will actually help you start to attract more of what you want in all areas of your life, not just your love life. So I'm really looking forward to sharing these with you today. But before I get started, if you're new to my channel, click the button to subscribe to get all of my videos on how to attract the life and relationship you've always wanted. So the first two mindsets I'm going to share here have to do with trust. Trusting, as you may already know, is a very feminine energy quality and it can be difficult for a lot of us, right? So the first mindset is embodying this trust in yourself to not stay in situations that don't feel good to you, especially in dating and relationships. I know as women, sometimes we can have this tendency to just kind of wait around for a man endlessly, even when he's not ready for a relationship or even if he's confused or doesn't know what he wants, or even when he's not pursuing you and committing to the kind of relationship you want. So if you fully trust yourself and you trust your boundaries, you trust that you're not going to stay in situations that don't feel good to you or tolerate bad behavior or accept crumbs from a man. And like I mentioned, these work in all areas of your life, but especially in your love life. I know I hear from a lot of women who don't trust themselves because maybe in the past they've put themselves in situations over and over where they end up getting hurt. So I wanted to start with this one. It's really important. And that leads me to the second mindset I wanted to share here. And that's trusting that the right man for you and a man who's truly in his empowered masculine energy knows a good thing when he sees it and has no problem pursuing you or claiming you for the kind of relationship you want. This is really important because if you don't trust that the right man is going to see you and know he's interested and want to pursue you all on his own, you're going to feel this need to try to do things or control the situation or apply tactics in order to make a man step up or do what you want. And all of those things, if you've ever tried that, just push an empowered masculine energy man away and kind of do the opposite of what you were hoping for. So that's the second one, trusting that the right man is going to know that he's in interested and won't have a problem pursuing you without a lot of pushing or prompting or nudging on your end. It's so important. The third mindset I wanted to share here is the fact that you are enough exactly as you are. You being yourself is not only enough, but that's what actually makes the right man see you and know that he's interested and know your value. And eventually that's what makes him fall in love and want to commit to you. It's who you are as a person, not something you do or accomplish or give to him. This one's important for staying in your feminine energy because if you don't believe deep down that who you are is enough, you're going to feel compelled to do things constantly like try to show a man what a great catch you are or how amazing the two of you would be together. It, you can slip into this masculine energy place pretty easily where you're even on a subtle level trying to just prove yourself to a man or win him over or earn his love or affection. And again, all of those things, if you've ever tried them, will backfire on you every time they actually decrease a man's attraction for you and your perceived value in a man's eyes. So that one's really important to embody. You are enough exactly as you are. Number four, I just love, and that is simply that effort is attractive. So everyone write that down, or if this resonates with you, type that into the comment section down below. Effort is attractive. You really want to hook up your feelings of attraction and chemistry with a man's masculine action towards you. So if a man is pursuing you and showing up and following through on what he says he's going to do and being reliable and consistent and dependable, that's fantastic. You want to respond to him and show up and be open and express interest as well. If a man is not doing those things, ideally that should start to turn you off and make you feel bored and you know make you start losing interest. So effort is attractive. You want to really embody that mindset and feel bored or turned off with inconsistency or men who are just hot and cold or pulling away from you. Number five is the fact that your self-esteem or your mood or how you feel about the world or the kind of men that are out there is not so closely tied with what this one specific man is doing or not doing. This one can be easy to slip into, can be easy to slip into the opposite of this when you have strong feelings for a man, right? If there's this one guy you really want and he's 
coming towards you energetically and he's giving you attention or affection, it feels incredible, right? But if, you know, that's the source of your happiness right now and he all of a sudden pulls away a little bit or he gets distant or he gets busy with something else, it feels terrible. And you start to beat yourself up or blame yourself or wonder what you did wrong or replay the last conversation you had with him. So basically, you don't want to be on that roller coaster. You want to feel good about yourself no matter what a man is doing or not doing. That's an incredibly magnetic quality. It pulls the right man towards you, right? And you don't want to hook up, you know, your feelings about yourself or your mood or emotional state. You don't want to tie all of that up with what a man is doing or not doing, right? You want to make sure that that's tied with yourself. How you feel about yourself um, is fantastic regardless of what any man is doing or not doing. So, Number six is something that has been helping me out a lot lately, so I'm curious to hear if this is helpful for you too, and that is I've already made it happen. So if you have a desire for something, let's say to attract a high quality man into an incredible relationship or to bring your man closer than ever, or anything, really, this works in all areas of your life. Your desire for that love or for that success or fulfillment or adventure you've already made it happen. Your desire has caused you to create it in a vibrational sense. It's there waiting for you. Sometimes it's there in a real physical sense too. Like if you're single and you want to attract your soulmate or your future husband, he exists already. He's walking around on this planet right now. So you've already made it happen. Your work now is to lean back into your feminine energy and allow it to unfold organically. Allow that right man to show up in your life and come towards you or allow your man to surprise you and really step up and be that empowered masculine man for you. I can talk some more about this. If you have questions about this one, because it's a newer concept I'm sharing here, let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to create some more videos around this. So it keeps you in your feminine energy because if you don't believe that you've already made it happen in, in an emotional or vibrational sense, you're going to feel compelled to lean forward and try and force things or convince a man that the two of you are right for each other or push and shove your way to try to get what you want at all costs. I'm leaning forward as I'm describing that. It's very masculine energy, right? But if you've already made it happen, if your desire has caused you to already create it and it exists, now all you need to do is lean back into your feminine energy and create this vibrational or emotional atmosphere or tone to allow what you've already made happen in. Do you feel the difference there? One is a lot of, you know, uncertainty about, about whether or not this could happen for you. So you need to like go out and try and control all the situations around you. One is you're totally certain you can lean back and allow it in. So that's the path you want to take. That's my hope for you is that you can just lean back and allow things to unfold organically rather than trying to control or manipulate or force the situation, any situation you're in. And again, this works in all areas of your life. And that brings me to number seven, and that is things are always working out for you. Everything is always working out for you and you're gonna be okay no matter what. So in your love life, let's say you're dating this guy and all of a sudden he makes some decision that you know might be potentially devastating to you. He breaks up with you or he pulls away or he gives you that dreaded speech that he can't give you what you want or you're not on the same page you're gonna be okay. That means there is another even better match for you right around the corner, right? So this kind of wraps up all of these and ties them all together. Everything is always working out for you and you're gonna be okay no matter what. If you have a desire for more love in your life or to attract the right man for you or anything really, it's an absolute guarantee to you and you, there's no way you can possibly miss this. And things are just always working out in the perfect order and timing and scheme of your life. So I hope this was helpful. This was another unedited video. So let me know if you guys are still liking these. And if you're ready to attract the right man for you or bring your man closer than ever, don't forget to download my free three keys to attract the man you want report and audio training. That's totally free on my website, helenaheartcoaching.com. I'll include a link to that in the description of this video. Just click the title of this video. It'll open up the description. You can get my free gift and all kinds of things will be there for you. Uh, don't forget to like the video, share it with anyone who you feel could benefit from this information and I will see See you next time.